Hello one and all, and welcome to something a little different, something a little special, something a little unlike anything I've ever done on this channel before. This is Lobo Destroyo, and I am the Max Few Trades. Today we're taking a look at a backer-only demo provided by Left Handed Games. A few years back, they kickstarted their idea for a 3D collectathon, and I of course backed it because I thought it was really freaking cool, and I wanted to see it happen. It's been quite a bit of time, and there's been a lot of trials and tribulations for the team in the meantime, but they finally managed to create this demo, and I said that I would play it and give my honest and true thoughts at whatever everything I have to say and see about how the game feels and I guess whatever else there is to talk about. I'm not 100% sure what to expect in this demo, but I need to I need to very uh, quickly and very firmly let everyone know that this is a demo. It is, it's right there. It's right there at the bottom. This is a limited scope demo on a game currently in development, not representative of final quality. This is not the final game. Anything that you do see could and possibly will change by the time it's full release. That's kind of the whole point of this thing. If I find something that shouldn't be going on, well, I should tell them about it, and hopefully they can fix it. That's basically the long and short of it. So, uh, hey, let's just have ourselves some fun, why don't we? And I'll do my best to not make too many comparisons to other video games. This is the Dev Island. Basically, a hodgepodge of geometry and set pieces from places that they plan on creating that they use to basically kind of fine-tune the physics and, and goings-ons of the game. And over here we have a horrifying monstrosity. <laughs> I don't know how else to phrase that. All right, well, here we are. Okay, well, first things first. Hello there. This is Mutt. He is our hero, and he is adorable, and he is a wolf. I, I mean, his name is freaking Mutt, and and the game start has the word Lobo in it, so, you know, that's Wolf. I guess he's a wolf. Yeah, just a full- yeah. I don't think he's supposed to be a dog. I think he's actually supposed to be a straight-up wolf. Anyway, let's get accustomed to our controls here. Because... Alright, going in just from the start of this, I am not a game developer. I don't know jiggity jiggity jack about what it takes to create a video game in any capacity. I'm not even going to pretend that I have the slightest idea whether or not anything I say or suggest could even be feasible. So, uh, let's just get that right out of the, out of the way, but I'm still gonna calls it like Sus sees it. Because I want this game to be really awesome, and I, if I can help in any way, that's what I'm gonna try and do. Alright, so first things first. We've got ourselves some decent walking about. Basically what we're rolling with is a, uh, Basically, the skeletal structure of which the game will be built upon, essentially. So basically, we're... we're, we're I, I, ugh, I'm using such weird terminology terms. Blah, blah, blah. I keep saying basically a lot. Blah, blah, blah. Look at me trying to sound smart. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. We've got a button for our peepers. This is actually a little interesting uh, Easter egg for those not in the know. This is actually Mutt's beta design when the game was first publicly, like, uh, pitched and whatnot. And he looked a little bit sillier, a little bit bulkier, and his mask looked a lot more like a swimming cap. Alright, so we can we can run, we can double jump. Can we... Oh, we've got a dive. And, uh, okay, we got a punch. We got a punch punch -a Interesting. Alright, and we've got a dive attack, basically. Alright, okay. And I do believe we also have a... Yep, the tired and tested. A butt smash. Alright, so, what I do know is that once I collect something... The little timer in the corner is going to go off, and it's going to track how long it takes me to do everything. And I'm not too happy about that, because I'm not going to look very good in front of people. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Let's see, which one of these buttons here activates the monstrosity? Oh, there we are. Welcome to Dev Island, a virtual toy box for backers to explore. Complete the area by finding and collecting all ten toll tokens. Wow. Wow, this place is great. I hope we don't get lost. Keep an eye out for handy maps just like this one to help navigate the world. <laughs> Great! I can't wait to explore! I'll give you a hint! There are 450 dandelion souls scattered around the level. Collect them all to gain one of the toll tokens. That seems a little ambitious. I feel like I'm going to miss one. So, nine tokens are just lying about and the last one requires a slew of sub-collectibles. Seems pretty lazy to me. I'll start a timer after you collect your first item. See if you can't get a really fast time. There are also other speaker boxes like me that you can chat with if you fancy a bit of banter. Yeah. 
I always fancy a bit of banter. Oh, by the way, in case you weren't aware, Mutt's belt is sentient and it can talk. I don't know how to pronounce his name and I don't want to look like a fool by mispronouncing it. But he's there. It's there. He talks. He's sassy. Anyway, I guess... Off we go. Yeah, that's an interesting sound effect for it. All right. All right. So, like I was saying before, I'm not a game developer, but I sure have played a lot of video games of the, uh, well, in general, and of the collectathon, you know, genre. So I like to think I at least have a general idea of what feels right and wrong about certain things that I've seen in games. So here's hoping that I'm able to give some constructive criticisms if need to be. <laughs> All right, well, first things first. Is this like a variable system of, of things to walk on? Like different sound effects for each material you walk on? Plank wood. Standing on the grass, walking on the metal, walking on... I'm not entirely sure what this is supposed to be. I was gonna... I guess maybe a looser dirt? Yeah, and this is like a hard pa a hard paved road. That's on tile. Oh, man. You know what this means. There's gonna... In, in the full game, there's gonna be a level that has a giant bathroom in it. Calling it now. We got sand, and we got more metals. All right, that's actually kind of neat. It's actually super interesting to see stuff like this. Especially nowadays, because, I mean, there was a time, not so very, very long ago, where certain games of this genre would actually hide certain things like this away. Like, in development stuff. And you can, and if you knew the super secret way of finding it, you could, like, explore. Kind of like the Insomniac Museums in a lot of the Ratchet and Clank games. Where if you set your timer to the exact perfect moment and go up to a monument in a very specific location, you can find a bunch of unused and... Uh, unused models and concept art and things of that nature. Kind of makes me wonder if, well, if this sort of thing will actually, like, if you could explore maybe Dev Island in the full game if you, like, go to somewhere super secret or something. That'd be kind of neat. Anyway, so far, I'm actually going to try and get super technical about a couple things. Oh, all right. Hello there. First and foremost, when it comes to a game like this, I don't really know how else to phrase it, but the feel of things is super duper 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 important. Like, jumps need to feel correct. You don't want them to be floaty, but you also don't want to sink like a rock. Oh, ah, 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 I just wanted to... Uh, I'm not going to make that jump. Okay. All right. So, okay, so stuff like that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. We can we can act, we can actively go, whoops, totally made a mistake there. Would like to would like to back up. That's a, that's good. That's a good first sign. I can walk through this cable, but you know what? That's okay. Oy boy. Definitely should not be climbing on construction equipment. This is highly ill-advised. I do not think that OSHA is okay with this. Some sort of byline or, or guidelines have been broken or something. This is all very ramshackle. You're going to have to speak with someone at the higher-ups or something. Whoa! Okay. That was my bad. That was my bad. Don't you worry about that. Anyway, so far... I gotta say, when it comes to just the simple hop, skip, and jump styles, so far I'm actually really fe it's it's feeling good. It's feeling it's feeling fine and responsive. And I normally don't like really talk about that sort of thing when I'm playing games, you know, for the channel in general. I see a token, but um, this is a very unique situation. This is a game in development, and I want to try and help, and I will do my best. So far, so good. I do appreciate the fact that I have that option. Basically, I'm going to play through... I'm going to play through this, and I guess by the time I'm close to, or by the time I am done, I will formulate my, I guess, ideas, criticisms, and theories, and, and what have you. I'm not just sort of complimenting and talking about everything I see. Like these, these binary wells, for example. What could they possibly mean other than binary things? And boy howdy, there sure are a lot of these dandelion souls running around. My goodness. Alright. Woo! Okay, good news. We do not die in water. <laughs> yeah, you might think that that's not, you know, th that that would be something you would expect, but uh, there's a fair amount of games of the genre that don't like it when you jump into water. I can't help but remember the times of Jack and Dexter when you spend too long and you just get eaten by a giant fish. Oh, hello! Mind people to speak? 
My, my, my peepers do not speak. They see what appears to be, in, uh, at least classical, Nintendo 64 cartridges. I am interested to see what those actually say. I wonder if we can get over there. Oh, uh, well, before we do, we should probably finish up around here. All right, first things first, we've got a giant attorney, a, attorney thingy. I believe it is called a valve brain. Yes, there we go. Now we're really firing on all cylinders. <laughs> we can remember basic things. Anyway, uh, how do you, hey, give me that thing. All right, that's satisfying. Because that's something I'm actually going to have to really think about. Because, you know, in, in collectathons, the act of collecting things needs to be extraordinarily satisfying. It has to feel good. You have to feel rewarded. You gotta, you gotta love collecting every last single object for whatever reason, you know? Otherwise, you're gonna feel like, ah, do I really want to spend time getting the other ones? Or can I just move on? That sort of thing. Anyway, hello there. Uh, Wally Weasel. This is the Soothsayer's Tent. You'll find one of these in every game world. Wow. Whoa, are you some sort of fortune teller? Alas, no. I'm just a stand-in for- I'm a stand-in NPC for Madame Clairvoyant, who has yet been- who's not been animated yet. You know what? I respect the honesty. <laughs> oh, how unfortunate. Please save the bad jokes for the full game, sir. Aww. Okay, well, first of all, that was very rude. He- I'm sure he- I'm sure Mutt tried very hard with that one. When she appears in game worlds, the soothsayer can provide you with helpful clues as to your next objectives. And she will also reward you for collecting the many dandelion souls scattered throughout the lands. Yeah. She sounds rather magical and pretty important. I look forward to meeting her. <laughs> I'm no psychic, but I can predict that you'll fall for whatever sham she's peddling, Furball. I do see tarot cards screwed about, uh, strewn about, not screwed about. Ooh, that's a different connotation altogether. Strewn about, also a crystal ball, some kind of spooky stuffs, a barbecue set. <laughs> okay, that's certainly interesting. I'm... The name is a little on the nose, Clairvoyant. I feel like I probably heard that before in other things, but uh, aside from that, that's good. Okay. So Dandelion Souls will serve a purpose other than just, hey, that's something you can grab. The more useful an object or collectible is to collect, the more incentives and sense the more likely people are to actually go and grab them, because I can't use the fancier word, so I should just give up and use a simpler one. All right. Well, fair enough. All right. Just thought to check something, and you cannot... You don't seem to have any actions in the air other than double jumping. Which is a touch unfortunate, but that's okay. That's okay. Work around it. I think... Oh, oh poop. And here, I was hoping I could jump there. I think that might be roughly everything up here. I don't want to jump down if there's more here for me to collect, otherwise I'm going to feel like a real fool. In other news, big old books! Hang on, let me crane my head, see what that's all about. Princess Wandsworth, The Complete Collection. Ugh, alright, well, other than slightly hurting my neck, I'm... Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. I do enjoy the little, little nods, yeah. little Easter eggs of the battle. Oh, hang on, there's another book. Hang on, let's see. Now it's a little easier to read. Speaking in stereotypes, the art of garbled grammar. The question of the day is, has somebody been reading that? And over there we've got, so you live in a log. I have to wonder what these books, who, who owns these books? Who are they helping? What gigantic monstrosity is reading these things and, ha and has these exact specific things necessary? Very interesting. All right, well... Let's see if falling hurts. All right, well, at least falling in water doesn't hurt. That's good to know. All right, jumping out of water is certainly not a problem. Appreciate it. Water physics are such a pain sometimes. Very easy to mess up. Ooh. All right, that one was my bad. Actually, that's a good thing to experiment with. Can I run off a platform and then use a double jump afterwards? Oh. Yes, yes I can. Okay, that's good to know, that's good to know. I find, personally, that the two most important aspects of any 3D collectathon to be basically movement and with all the collectibles themselves, I suppose, for lack of a better term. The better the movement and I'd say the options for movement that you have, the better. And obviously, as I said before, the collectibles themselves need to be extraordinarily, you know, worthwhile to the player. Right now, we seem to be adopting the... 
piece of candy type mentality. Kind of like a, a trail a trail of breadcrumbs on, to lead to a to a box being held up by a stick meant to trap you. Oh, hello. Riverbed drainage. Do not use. Well, now I certainly feel a fool for swimming around in it so much. Oh, dear. Here's hoping I don't grow an extra limb. All right. All right, well, so far, so good. I gotta say, as far as just the jumping physics are concerned, really like them. Although, one thing I actually haven't tested is, can I grab ledges? I, it does not seem that I can. All right. I don't know if that's something that's planned on being implemented or if it's something they're just going to forego. Also, look at these big old monstrosities. What are you guys doing here? Some kind of... I'm not sure. Hang on. Are you fully robotic? Cyborg? -ic? I mean, you seem to have, like, little feeder tanks there, so I assume there's some sort of organicness going on here, unless it's just straight up oil. You, speaker man! What say you? Please stand back. This area contains prototype enemies. They have a wide cone of vision and will relentlessly attack anyone who crosses their path. Uh. Oh, wow. I'm sure glad they're in those tanks. We're making efforts to take care of all the bugs in this game. Oh, and there are bugs in the tanks. I see what they did there. <laughs> You're gonna need a lot more cages. That is certainly so. Can I break them free? I didn't think so, but I still felt the need to check. <laughs> because that would have been kind of hilarious. All right. Hello, hello. Uh, it said there was 450 of these things. Sheesh. Here's hoping I don't miss any. Oh, panda trash. Disposal services. Oh, like a trash panda, which is something some people call raccoons. Maybe. Maybe I'm thinking too hard about it. Maybe it's just trash company owned by pandas. That's possible, too. Nope, oh, hang on. Hold up, what's that? Keep closed. Do not overload. Oh. Okay. That's just straight up something you would actually see on a, on a garbage can. I wasn't expecting, like, that sort of thing. Uh, hang on a second here. Hang on a second here. Is that readable? Uh, not quite. I mean, I'm sure it is if I stared at it long enough. This is just me having my having my time. I'm gonna take my time with this. I'm gonna I'm going to enjoy myself. Oh, hello. What do we have over here? We've got a button. And keep clear. Keep clear of the buttons. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, okay. I am here. Interesting, interesting. Uh, pressure sensitive? No. Slam it down? Yes. Okay. These are the types of buttons that we must press. Could you imagine if in real life that's how just most giant, you know, heavy machinery was operated? You needed to, like, stomp down on a giant red button. It's highly inefficient, I gotta say. It'd be moida on your knees. Or buttock. D depends, I guess it depends on how you choose to, to stomp about. Anyway, hello there. Over here, we've got Drew's Lose. Interesting. Also, we've got uh, an ominous fog emanating from them. Classy! Also, does that say nope? That says nope. <laughs> all right, well, don't mind if I just uh, stay away from that, if it's all the same with you. If it's all the same. Also, hello, what have we got here? Keep off the grass. It was ve very expensive. Ah, so I see we've got some kind of snoot and tutor living around these parts. I'm not entirely sure what snoot and tutor means, but um, it's supposed to mean a, uh, a rich person. But then again, the topiaries of dollar sign should have been a bit of a giveaway for that, so... Perhaps I'm not so clever in my observations. Oh, hang on, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, oh. Okay, yeah. I can safely say the jumping physics... That's getting a that's getting a passed with flying colors type situation. Good mobility, good mobility, but now give me that token. I climbed your mighty doodads. I demand I demand tokens as compensation for my efforts. Alright. And there sure actually are a lot of these little map things. I gotta say, um, I do hopefully. I, I'm, I'm being a little hopeful towards the idea that maybe in the full game, there's a, a map button. As <laughs> as as classy as the system that we're implementing here is, I gotta say, I uh, I think I'd much rather prefer a um, a map that you have access to at all conceivable times. Then again, 
Not all games need maps. I mean, really, you should familiarize yourself with the surroundings and just kind of get a feel for the whole thing and really just know where you're supposed to go by, you know, exploring a whole bunch. Um, I guess it depends entirely on whether or not how... I mean, it depends on how big the levels are planned to be. The bigger a world you're running around in is, the more a map might be required. As is, so far this place doesn't seem too big. It seemed a little bit bigger when I when I first dropped in, but I think actually we've got ourselves a bit of a, a pretty easy to understand system going on here. Oh, you can actually get some surprisingly good airtime. I appreciate that. Oh, and another token. I imagine the tokens will be a bit trickier to acquire in the full game. You know, with, like, maybe actual challenges and whatnot. In fact, despite having an attack, it doesn't really seem like there's any actual enemies running about. I think that this is meant to really just be a demonstration of movement options and... and traversing things and making sure things like platforms work properly and that when you jump on them, that you don't fall through the floor or walls. I think that's really more, more or less what we should be, uh be examining here. There's a big old seat. <laughs> All right, the, the umbrellas are not bouncy and I'm only mildly disappointed by this fact. It's a lie, I'm incredibly disappointed. <laughs> Elastic bounciness <laughs> is always fun when it comes to things. Reward me for standing on things. You think the diving board makes you, you bouncy? Probably not. Just something worth thinking about. Also, I guess I didn't even really look. I'm not sure. Okay, hang on. The other collectibles that I guess would be found in the game are what I believe to be action figures, paintings, maybe concept art, some kind of book. I imagine we'll probably be collecting pages for the book. Maybe that's concept art or something. And I'm not sure what that bottom one is. Almost looks like a mirror, but it's like entirely made out of gold, so it wouldn't be a very good mirror. Color me interested on that noise. That being said... The diving board is neither- it's not bouncy neither. There are so many things I wish to bounce about on, and I cannot, and it depresses me so. Anyway, sup, monstrosity? Oh, I like it up here. Looks like a good place to relax and get away from everything. Yeah, that was my plan. <laughs> These things are very mean to mutt, and I don't care for that. Ah, <laughs> nice one, metalhead. Metalheads! Just checking to see if a metal core would fly out of you. Yeah. It was feasible. <laughs> Man, talk about now that would be a. I don't know how copyright friendly of a of a of an Easter egg something like that would be, but it sounds like the type of thing I would do. That being said, let's see. All right. Well, I've certainly put it off long yeah. enough. That's that looks a lot like Spiral Mountain. I'm just gonna be honest. That looks like Spiral Mountain. I'm yeah. curious to see what that's all about. But before I do. How do I get up there? There are dandelion souls there for me to collect, and I wish to collect them. Is it so simple? It is! Huzzah! Very good, very good, very good. Move me over there! I wish to collect the thingamabobs. Thank you. Okay, so I guess another thing I can talk about would be... I suppose sound design is actually... Okay, well first of all... There is no falling damage. Today I learned this. Secondly, <laughs> um, in games such as this, the sounds are also kind of as important as, I guess, the physics and feel of the situation. Also, what is this? It's like someone's bedroom was ripped out of something and put over here in the, on display. That'd be a weird thing to wake up to. You go to bed, and then when you wake up, you're a museum exhibit. I wonder how often that's happened. Anyway, I wanted to talk about this uh, dandelion soul collecting sound effect. It's an interesting one. Um, I'm not gonna lie, when it when it was first going off, I was kind of grating. It's certainly an interesting one. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I I feel like the pop is okay, but that noise after it is a little interesting. But then again. You can't just have the pop, because just the pop would sound ultra-generic. And considering these things aren't just dandef dandelion seeds, they're called dandelion souls, I imagine they're of some sort of arcanic, you know, nature. There's some kind of magical property to these things. Also, they're floating and shoot at weird ghostly auras. So, 
Them making sounds like that is definitely a, a is is something that should be expected. But I'm just not 100% sure. Also, hello. What's all this? Uh. Gentrification sale? What an interesting font you've gone with. Also, why is this one so stinky? This one is... Oh, pineapple. Uh, your, your pineapples appear to have been spoiled, my good sir. I must admit, the lack of NPCs in this world is rather eerie. What am I, chopped liver? No, you're... Like some sort of theme park thing. I don't even know what to call you. Chopped liver would be better than the fruit on the cart. I don't even have a nose and I can smell that stench from here. <sighs> oh, sorry, Mr. Speaker Box. I didn't mean to offend you. Whatever, kid. Just don't steal any produce. I've been asked to mind the store while the vendors have their idle animations tweaked. Fair enough. I also get the inst I get the very strong indication that Mutt is a good boy. He just wants to do the right thing, and people are being bullies to him. And I don't much care for that. Also, I have to sneeze, but who knows if I actually will or if it'll just get stuck in there and hurt me for a while. What? There it was. Anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. The f I, for rem I remember now. I think the first world of the game is called Wiki uh, Wiki Tiki. It's either Wiki Tiki or Wiki Tiki. Wiki. Mm. Wiki Tiki? Wiki Tiki? It's something like that woods. National Park. It's condemned, apparently. That's certainly a bad sign. Let's just say that much. All right. All right. I thought I thought I thought I thought I thought. Oh, hello. Hello. Collectibles such as these are basically kind of used to help lead the player into certain locations that they're supposed to go. And I'm, it's good to see that these are being used for that purpose. You see the thing, you're like, hey, where's that trail of stuff going to lead me? And you go and you follow it. Ooh, it's like a secret room or something. Nifty beans. What the heck is this? I'm not 100% sure what this is. I thought it was like a face looking at me. Maybe it is. Yeah, whatever. It's got yeah. it's got mushrooms speaking out of it. Hello there. You are now in a secret area. Congratulations on finding this place. Don't tell anyone. Whoa. It really wasn't all that hard to find. <sighs> didn't we just follow a string of collectibles through a well lit hallway? Well, management didn't want people <laughs> didn't want you whining about it too being too hard to find. <sighs> oh, we're writing a sternly worded letter as soon as we get home. Indeed, I'm very, I'm, I'm angry. I'm angry at the, at the, at the proper use of a, of a small time collectible. How dare you use it appropriately to lead me into places that I might not have stumbled onto naturally. Oh. Also, there was a token in here. Didn't even realize it. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. All right, we got half the tokens and almost half the dandelions. We're making, well, Let's be honest, I'm probably making terrible time. <laughs> I'm I'm sure if someone could do this really, really fast, and I am not the man to do such a thing. I'm a, I'm far too I'm far too methodical. Alright, let's see here. I like to I like to comb over areas very thoroughly before I actually leave an area. Also, oh, hang on a second. I'm also all about stuff like this. Okay, building permits, uh, authorizing signatures. 2000, okay, 2012-11. See, that's the kind of thing that makes me wonder. Is that just a random amount of numbers, or is there, is that symbolic of something? It's like, does that mean November of 2012? Is, is that what that is? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see here. Also, the foreman is sleeping. Do not disturb him. The foreman, otherwise known as the guy who stands around and watches people do their jobs. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, I know some things. Anything over yonder? No. All right. Also, this doesn't seem like a very safe building practice, but uh, here we go. Do I get cut on these? No, I don't. Okay. Uh, in fact, it doesn't seem like a health point system has been implemented yet, so I don't think I actually can get hurt. It's possible fall damage and stuff might be a thing later. It just isn't right now. That's a very real possibility that we're all going to have to learn to accept. And despite the fact that I wanted to climb Spiral Mountain, I have yet to actually do so. I got distracted by other shiny objects. It happens, people. Get off my back. I'm doing my best. 
this. Tally ho, tally ho. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. Oh no, that's that seems perilous. Okay, well, let's let's grab all of these. Try to grab all of the ones that are actually in an active area before I try to move on to something else. Otherwise, I'm just going to oops, see like something like that. You'll end up missing a single one. And if possible, I sure would like to avoid that from happening. Oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. We're 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 getting a little too far off track here. First things first, token time. And I called the machine a Wally -E Weasel instead of a Chuck E. Cheese. But uh, the tokens are also giving me a bit of that kind of vibe, too. <laughs> Is this all part of some sort of interstellar arcade? I don't know. I'd like to say I actually very much enjoy the physics on, on Mutt's little cape. I don't know why, but it makes me happy. Alright, so you figure we can make it under that? Or let's, well, let's just find out. In my personal experience, just hoping for the best and making a leap for it's the best way to find out whether or not something is doable or not. Doesn't seem like there's anything up there to get, so that's good news. Lower down. Lopping and a plopping. As you do. Alright. There we go. Alright. I think that takes care of this structure. I think. Seems to be the case. All right. Then again, I did see things up there that I needed to collect, and I see some up over there too. Oi! 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 Yee! <laughs> this, I, I, everything I've collected is only but a small drop in the pan. I have to wonder: are they, are there going to be this many dandelion souls to collect in each individual world? If so, I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. I guess it really does depend on how big worlds are, much like the map. I guess an amount like this isn't too bad. But, I mean, my mind naturally kind of drifts to something like the musical notes in Banjo-Kazooie. I mean, those were used to unlock new moves, and that's why you were, you know, basically told to go and collect them, because you needed them to get more, you know, abilities to progress and whatnot. If the dandelion souls are only really utilized for the purpose of getting hints to things that you don't know, then I'm not 100% sure if they're going- unless those- unless those hints are extraordinarily good and very, very expensive. <laughs> I have to wonder why you would need so many of them. That being said, now we're up here. So I'm just wondering if there's going to be like some kind of, I don't know, purchasing system or something. Otherwise, I, it, it, it seems like an excessive amount, a, lo a very, very large number to collect. But, as I said, it could easily just be because, well, this is just a developer land, and they're, you know, they're just throwing everything at the wall and like, hey, there you go, what are you going to do? <laughs> Can you collect all the things? You're certainly welcome to try. And I shall take the challenge! Ah, oh, okay, very good, very good. Alright, we will slowly and methodically collect all of the thingamabobos. And again, like, when I say something like, I don't know, some kind of purchasable thing, I don't even know what that could conceivably be. I mean, if such a thing isn't meant to be implemented, then obviously you can't just throw something like that in. That's something you gotta, like, very firmly plan out well beforehand, just before you start thinking about stuff like that. I assume there must be some kind of point. Maybe they also help you open up the doors. I mean, again, kind of like the musical no no doors of Banjo-Kazooie. I, I, I try not to bring up other games, but at the same time, I mean, it's obvious when a game takes inspiration from something, you know? And you're just gonna draw parallels. It's how it be. Anyway, hello, sir. These lockers sit unclaimed, but if you find any in the main game, chances are you might recognize some of the names out of each door. So, there are hidden names in the game? That's pretty cool. But are they all going to be that obvious? Hey, how about you try to hide over 900 backer names and textures and maybe then you could start pointing fingers. I don't have fingers, but if I did... Okay, okay, sorry I said anything. These are some very grumpy... speaker boxes. My goodness. I'm sorry though, I can't, I can't, I can't think of speaker box voices without thinking of the freaking Blubbo's whale from, from Homestar Runner. <laughs> Sever your legs, sir. It's the greatest day. 
Good lord, man. Can't understand a damn thing you're saying. Oh, hello. Anything interesting here? Wiki Tiki Towers. Phase a, const phase a construction site. Replacement timber operators. Contractor check-ins. Sewage pumps. Primary dam. Drainage. Pizza deliveries. All other deliveries. Well, I appreciate the fact that pizza deliveries are prioritized above all other forms of delivery. It is definitely one of the more important <laughs> ones. Let's not even try and kid ourselves here. Alright, so that takes care of a dad. Now take me over yonder! Strange thing. Are you even connected to anything? I haven't bothered to check. Uh, hang on. Let me make my jump first, and then I can I can properly use mine peepers to find these things out. All right, let's find out. Yes, okay, there are giant cranes spinning these things around. I never thought to look up. All right, well, that being said, gotta collect them all. Gotta grab all the thingamabobs. I mean, basically, that's that's kind of the, the, the two things I can most easily compare these to. You know, the dandelion souls and the tokens basically being, you know, musical notes and jiggies from Banjo. <laughs> So, my brain automatically makes me think, well, maybe those are meant to serve similar purposes. I assume that the toll tokens are to open up toll bridges that will open up, you know, levels. That would make the most sense for them. Otherwise, what? why would you be collecting toll tokens if you didn't open up toll bridges? That would be a bit silly. But I digress. Alright, looks like I might have actually... Think I'm, you think I combed over this general area enough? No. Well, I just looked to the left and there's a big stack of the dang things right over there. So the answer was always a clear no and I should feel ashamed of myself for even thinking such a thing. My goodness. Alright, well. Fine. Once more of a go over, let us take a gander. There you go. Okay. See, that sort of, that sort of thing felt really good. In a 3D collectathon platformer, above all else, you gotta love moving around. Especially if the, if the world is gigantic and sprawling. Getting from point A to point B in of itself needs to be something incredibly fun to do. And so far, vertical ascension, I gotta say, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about. However, the, uh, the walking, the walking thing. I'm not sure what else you could really do per se about that. I mean, right now we've we, we've basically got the we got an ocarina of time situation where, well, whether or not it actually speeds me up or not, it sure feels like the correct thing to do to constantly do the dive thing. It's like I'm just gonna dive across large quantities of land and hopefully that gets me to my place faster. And if it doesn't, it feels like it does, and that's almost just as good. <laughs> well, I see a bunch of arrows pointing me over yonder. Interesting. All right, hold up, hold up. Hold your various horses. Let me collect all of the thingamabobos before I decide to wander off into a completely arbitrarily different location. It's so easy to get distracted from with shiny objects in this sort of situation. All righty, there we go. All right, let's check out that swimming speed. All right. Ah, subscribing to the the. <laughs> to the notion that breaking physics and jumping out of the water consistently like that is is the faster way of doing things. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's that's just that's just video game one, video games 101 right there. Let's see. We have just over just under 100 left of these things. All right. I saw the things over there, don't you worry. Okay. It if I felt it in me bones, I had to go and grab things. I suppose that's actually a really good sign. Right now, they actually don't much accomplish anything other than, I guess, getting me a toll, a toll token in the end. But I still feel compelled to grab them. That's a good sign. And hello there. Whoa, is that a real ransom letter? Creepy. This area features objects and elements from World 1, Wiki Tiki Woods. Our heroes will find that the villains have invaded the forest and are holding the native people's young prince hostage. Oh no, that's terrible. We are definitely gonna need to save them. That sounds like a problem for future us. For now, let's just figure out how to grab that token. To open the cage, you'll need to solve this amusingly simple button puzzle. Hitting the buttons in the correct order to get inside. Huh? Why would anyone make a cage that can be so easily opened with trial and error? 
Why are the buttons large red things that require ground pound moves to press? Stop asking so many questions and play the demo already. See, there you go. That's kind of really what you gotta get. It's just the kind of mindset you gotta do. Alright, so... Is it just push all of them? Is there... An obvious tell for the combination? Well, if it's just trial and error, then trial and error it shall be! That ain't it. Nope, missed that one. That ain't it. Nope, oh, okay. That ain't it. That ain't it either. Alright. Only so many options. That's still no. Alright. Of course it's the one right next to it that I didn't even bother trying. Of course! Alright. And... Yeah! I was actually really hoping that was the case. There we go. There we go. Oh, hell yeah! Give me that token! Alright. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay. So, climbing back on up. There are two tokens left. One of them requires collecting all the dandelion souls. So we're actually kind of edging towards the end here. Okay. Okay, the dive definitely does give you a little bit of a burst of speed. That is much appreciated. Oh dear. Um, oh me, oh my. You ever get the feeling that there was a, a different path I could have taken that maybe was the more intended one? I doubt it, but quick question. No, okay. I was just checking to see if there was any sort of wall jump. You never know. You never know. Right, oh. uh, something directly down there? Kind of hard to tell. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, I guess I could have gone up this giant thing instead. I basically took the secret back door entrance before even noticing the actual doorway, you know, into where you're supposed to be. Good job, me. This is the foot of the mountain. There are a few paths to get to the top and possibly some secrets inside. Watch out for moving platforms along the way. Yeah. I'm sure we can handle them. I'd certainly hope so. The difficulty has been toned way down to ensure you make it to the top. I don't want to hear you complaining if you have to start back down here again. <sighs> Ever notice how old school 3D platform levels always revolved around large mountains that force you to spiral your way up? Okay, yeah. cool. So I was not totally out of, my, out of line by talking about Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> You don't put something like that in your game and not expect people to notice. It's all I'm saying. Let's see. Somebody has hung their underpants up to dry. That is interesting. There are dozens of Easter eggs and hidden references in Dev Island and hundred more in the main game. How many were you able to spot in this small demo? <laughs> Once our game comes, we should track them all down and make a video to share online highlighting them all. <laughs> Maybe not everything. Defeating villains is one thing, but copyright lawyers are something completely different. Okay, well, I'll have you know, Mr. Belt, that I have expressed permission to make this video, okay? I asked ahead of time, because that just seemed like the right thing to do. Alright, so I still need to climb up that thing, but I also gotta collect all this stuff too! So many twists and turns. I really do find stuff like this interesting, though. The inner workings, the the testings of, of games and construction. There's something about it, I don't really know how to describe it, but I really enjoy it. And I'm incredibly thankful that I'm actually able to play this little this little preview demo thingamabob. Whatever you want to call it. Makes me feel super special and important, even if I'm not. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Of course, my depth perception could still use a little bit of advancing. That being said, all right, it's gonna be a bit of a, it's gonna be a bit of a walk. All right, fair enough. Though that's that, that kind of goes into what I was saying before, though. When it comes to 3D collectathons and what have you, movement really is the name of the game. Even if it, the options aren't necessarily required for anything specific, just the options to basically do things, like, slightly differently, really kind of, I don't know, it, it, it adds up. Like, I don't know. I can't help but notice there's, like, there's no crouch or, like, yeah. super jump or something, but, like, I don't know. Imagine if there was, like, you could crouch down, then you jump, and you do, like, a, a, a slightly bigger jump. Yeah, you can just double jump your way up there. That's an option, yes. And, like I said, maybe it's not actually required for anything, 
but it would feel really cool if I could just, well, what if I don't want to do it the normal way? What if I want to slide into a, a crouching position and do a super jump and just kind of slightly bypass things in an unconventional way? Is it necessary? No. But it's, I don't know, it feels correct. It feels like, it, feel, it feels cool to have the option, I guess. I mean, I think about stuff like, you know, Mario 64. Like, how often are the backflip jumps or the side flip jumps actually 100% necessary to do anything in that game? Like, I'm willing to wager pretty much never, if I remember correctly. But having the ability to do that, e like, also, how often do you actually need to, you know, crawl around and have it be something important? That's next to never. But sometimes you just like to do that because, I don't know, you're feeling a little bored and you feel like you'd want to do something silly, so you just kind of... Yeah. Inch your way into some sort of weird crevice for some reason. I don't know, it sounds really weird when I phrase it that way. But that's basically what I'm trying to get at. Like, for some reason in my brainscape, like, something I, um, I picture, because, you know, from his attire, and, you know, well, basically, from everything I know about what this game is ultimately going to try and be when it's, you know, fully released and whatnot, uh, Mutt here takes after luchadors, right? You know? So, like... It would be cool, like, say, if I, you know, said like a bunch more times, you know, like, but, um, like, what if he could do something in midair that, even if it's not completely necessary, feels good to do? Like, something, I'm trying to think, what would be, like, an appropriate thing? Well, two things that come to mind would be, I don't know, maybe, like, some kind of, maybe some kind of drop kick or something? Like, Say you're, when you're jumping and you hit the attack button, he, like, shoots his legs out and, like, I don't know, there's, like, some forward momentum to it. So, like, at the top of your jump, I need to stop saying, like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but, say you jump up like that and you just hit the button and then you do a little drop kick and it, like, the momentum carries you forward. So that you can sort of, you know, inch your way closer. You can start a jump earlier and then, like, ah, I'm not gonna quite make that jump. You hit it and you go, whoo, and, and then you do it. If not something uh, akin to that, let's try. Let's start using synonyms here. If something not like that, dang it, I did it anyway. Maybe some kind of spinning aerial lariat that can kind of change your positioning while you're in the air or something. I don't know. I have no idea if these are viable options or suggestions. These are just things I'm thinking about. Anyway, G Sawtooth, no solicitors, beggars, or protesters permitted on the premises. Well, that certainly doesn't bode well. Hello there, are you gonna tell me anything about that? This mansion is a replica of the one owned by the evil Norton Sawtooth III. Fortunately for you, he's not here right now. Otherwise, I'm sure he'd be chiding you from his balcony with bogey banter. That sounds delightful! Hey. I've heard a lot about that guy. I'm looking forward to teaching him a lesson in the main game. <laughs> Until then, perhaps we should break into the replica mansion and liberate some replica paintings. His state-of-the-art security system, provided by fellow Baron Von Frankenflap, is, however, still operational. <sighs> Never mind. Can't let you have too much stuff. Also, hang on a second. It's time to actually take another gander at these things here. And we've got other books we can possibly read. All right, let's crane that neck around. Another castle. How to avoid getting kidnapped. ba dum bum ba -dump. Also, I see that Mario 1 little staircase and flagpole. I see what you're doing there. Let's see. Versus the library, lost in time. Space Tiger. Also, there were these posters I was noticing as well. Space Tiger in space. This time it's personal. Blasting off this summer. From the studio that brought you Space Tiger Goes to Camp. Okay, so I appreciate the very bizarre implication that the that this is at least the second... Well, actually, no. You'd think the first movie would just be Space Tiger, which implies that this has to be at least the third movie. Which means the first two Space Tiger movies do not take place in space. That's an interesting concept right there. And over here, we've got Rapscallion Predictions Presents... Something... Uh... Wobble Tone? Live Set? World Tour? Something like that. Interesting. And now you gotta wonder whether or not those are things that are going to play a role in anything. Oh, hang on. Okay, so Well, I'm sure you're already aware of it, developers. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure at least somebody from it's gonna see this. Um... Some chords can be walked through, other chords cannot. I don't know if that's entirely <laughs> supposed to happen or not. So, uh, 
Either some of these aren't supposed, either all of them aren't supposed to be, or all of them are supposed to be. Make do with that information as you will. All right. Oh, we're so close to having all of these things. I'm so looking forward to the crippling, crushing disappointment when I when I find out that I'm missing exactly one and I have no idea where to find it. Well, oh, either way, give me that token. There we go. All right. So that is nine. I just gotta collect the rest of these thingamabobos. This man has far too many cars. They're all the same make and model too. They're just in different colors. Good lord, what are they? Happy Meal toys? Did you have to collect them all? That implies some sort of mental sickness on your part. That's compulsive. That's problematic, my dude. Although, honestly, if we're being true to ourselves, it's likely also not going to be the biggest problem with this person in the full game. They're likely a bit of an evil sort. Anyway, I literally just saw... Yeah, okay, way over there. Let's see. How many do I have? I'm missing nine. You think the missing nine are right over there? I was over there, too. All right, well... Let's see if I can do this. Whee! Oh, hang on. Go the distance! No, oh, come on. All right. Interesting that the sound effect that he makes when he lands sounds a lot like a basketball. That sounds like somebody dribbling a basketball on a court. That's an interesting sound for a buttock to make. Just commenting and observing, as one does. All right, so I got up there once before. Surely I can do it again. As I wait patiently. Fair enough. But anyway, as this is basically a, really just kind of a, a small tech demo on the, the feel and physics of the game and what have you, I, got, I, can, I can safely say, basically the, the hopping, skipping, and jumping and whatnot, that's, that's been great. Don't gotta worry about none of that noise. I can't speak for other elements, because, well, obviously they aren't programmed in yet, or aren't at a stage where they feel like asking for feedback and what have you. But all right, so far, I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty good about a lot of this stuff so far. I mean, okay, well, ah, that's how we get back up there, with the big shiny button. It already, it, I thought I figured I was gonna have to hit it again. I did not. Awesome. All right. Do, do, do. I kind of lost train of. I uh, completely lost my train of thought. But uh, I'm enjoying this. It's pretty nifty. I know that this game is going to have more combat involved in the in the end of it all. Um, I also know there's going to be things like power ups and stuff like that. So I'm sure at least one of them will be like something that you can use for the purposes of moving around really quick or something to that effect. As far as things like, have I been cra- has the game been crashing? Have I been falling through things that I'm not supposed to fall through? Is incredibly loud jarring noises playing when completely arbitrary things happen? So far, no, everything's running pretty solid. Oh, and of course it would go up there. You know what? I'm actually okay with that. I'm okay with it going to a set specific location instead of just kind of shooting out of nowhere by collecting the objects. That being said, which way was that? It's over yonder. All right. So I guess to surmise my thoughts, as if that, as if it weren't clear and obvious, I've personally enjoyed this little this little tech demo. Basically, everything's worked about just as well as I imagined they possibly could. Only suggestions would be things like, um, you know, they'd be they'd be purely like fluff in the grand scheme of things, and maybe I would tweak a couple of the sound effects. Again, there's nothing wrong with that sound. It's just weird to hear it come out of a wolf. And maybe tweaking the uh, the sound effect for the the dandelion souls so it sounds a little. It's tricky because you gotta collect when you're collecting a bunch of objects in rapid succession like that. It sounds weird when a sound effect get pl gets played a whole bunch. So it needs to be like a very specifically well crafted sound effect to sound good in rapid succession like that. Aside from that, though, gotta say I've actually really enjoyed this. Bada bing, bada boom. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah. That's it. We've collected everything in the area. Congratulations, Furball. I bet next time you can do it in even less time. In less than 48 minutes? I certainly hope so. What? 
What do we do now? Or where do we go now? Is there anything left to do? <laughs> we could always wander about aimlessly while we wait for the game to finally come out. <laughs> Good idea! Lordy knows, I don't know how long we're going to be wandering around in here waiting for that. But, um... Considering that... I, you could consider this basically the, the, the a strong framework for a game to be built off of. I feel like, yeah. I, 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 I'm pretty sure you could probably s speed up slightly after this point. Now that you, you know, you know that jumping around feels good, it works. Your collision... And as I burp mid-sentence like a dork. Collisions is all goods and whatnots. Really, the only things I could think of are just mindless fluff that aren't completely necessary. Like, you don't need to be able to grab ledges. It'd just be neat. Duck and super jump or some kind of dive ability to, like... Like, I don't know. Wouldn't it be really freaking cool if I could make it from over over to there from here? By, like, you know, like jump, double jump, and then, like, some kind of lariat or kick-style technique that can launch you further through the air? I don't know. Unnecessary, but would be nifty. That being said, everything seems to work perfectly fine. I haven't experienced any sort of tech issues whatsoever. So, I mean, from that exact perspective, good times. Also, hang on. All right, that's something you gotta implement. You gotta implement bounciness physics to certain things. Why does that bed feel like it's made out of rocks? Unless it is made out of rocks. Is this blanket made out of sheet metal? No, it's not. It's, it's it, that, that's that's fabric. <laughs> like I said, all of my all of my criticisms and complaints and and additions are just kind of mindless fluff that makes like the feel feel better. Other than that, like I said, I'm not a developer or a game designer. I don't know the inner workings of this these of such things. But like I said, I've played a lot of games, and so far, this feels very very fundamentally solid. It's a very strong foundation. The controls feel responsive. Yeah. Diving and jumping feel really good. And let me just... Again, I cannot stress enough how important it is that those feel good. Um, If everything works out just like that, like say if there was an enemy or something and I were to bop them real good with my fist, you know, I would assume they it would there would be a meaty sound effect and a, you know, perhaps a colorful explosion of some sort when they, when they fall. You know, as long as everything feels as good as what we've seen so far, I don't see anything to really be concerned about. So far, so fantastic. Give yourselves a pat on the back there, various developers and whatnots. You guys have definitely, you've definitely got the makings of something really good here, I feel. So, you know, and if I could just speak a little bit candidly before we end, I'm aware this is actually directly to the developers, if they're watching. I'm aware that, you know, there's been a lot of setbacks and problems, and it's not been easy to get even to this point. And I know how hard and, I guess, soul-crushing everything could possibly feel. I don't want to, you know, lay bare all of those things to, to, the, to the public, because, you know, you know, whatever and whatnot. But I, I know that it's affected all y'all. And I want you to know, again, from everything I've seen and what I've played so far, this is feeling really good. And, if you know, the dialogue is as snappy and as fun to read as it has been. And everything feels as good as it does that has already been experienced. You have nothing to worry about. Just keep putting your all into all of this. And no matter what, you've always got a fan and supporter in me. I can, I can safely, assuredly tell you that for all times. That being said, uh, to anybody who watched this, I certainly hope you enjoyed it. As I said before, this is a, a certainly a different and unique experience, not something I, I typically do. I usually just, you know, I just play games and I make the funny haha -ha voices and, and observations and what have you. I don't usually play through something in development and try to, and try to help the actual developers in any capacity. And I don't know if anything I said is actually handy in any regard, but if it ended up being that in any way, freaking awesome! And, well, as we don't really have a proper way of signing things out, I certainly just hope you enjoyed watching my little escapades here, and, hey, here's waiting for the full release. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll see you all then.